Hello Trader, this is Ad Zeros and uh, I wanted to discuss the today's topic. Today's topic is revenge trading, a big red day, and how we can define the risk unit and why all these things happens. And if you are being trading, uh, you would know that trading is has a two components. One is technical analysis and other is psychology and overcoming a psychology is very important to be a consistent profitable trader and i've been through with this situation many many times and i'm sure that i'm gonna i'm i'm going to face the situation again sooner or later but how i am uh, i have coped up and how i'm coping up i will i will tell you some of the tips what i have done so far so if you look at it, uh, uh, why revenge trade happens, why big red happens, is just because the one thing that you have not defined your risk unit. And what is the risk unit? I want to take a couple of minutes here and I wanted to talk you through that what is risk unit. Because if you see, there is a various explanation can be given that, okay, risk unit is something that you want to take a lose uh, loss on one trade. But I want to give you a question that how would you decide that what is your risk unit? How would you define that? That what should be your maximum loss per trade? You have to ask two questions to yourself. Question number one. Very important. The question number one you need to ask, if I lose that much money, would that impact my next trade? So for instance, you have decided that your risk unit is $200 for each trade. But now the question is that if your the first trade of the day becomes your loser, which is the $200, would that impact on your next trade? So when you go into the next trade, does that thought come to your mind that I want to recover the loss of my first trade and I want to make more money on the, my second trade? If this thought comes to your mind, that means that you are not ready you're not psychologically ready to take your next trade and you're gonna make mistake and your one small trade wanna going to become a big red day so what what is it, then how how would you tackle that it's very simple you have to ask yourself every time the risk unit is does is going to impact your next trade and that is the question you need to ask yourself. If you think that that much amount, for instance, initially you decided 200 and you think that next trade is going to impact your trading, uh, is going to impact your next trade. And that thought just explained that that thought coming into your mind that you in the next trade, you need to recover the loss of your first trade and and the profitable be profitable in at the day end of the day then you're not ready to 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 trade any more trades then you should stop it the ideal way to tackle is that every trade statically different from the 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 trade you had so the loss you had in your first trade doesn't mean that your next trade would also be a loser and it also doesn't mean that if your first trade is a loser, then market is obligated to return you the loss of your first trade and give you a more profit on your second trade. These two are the two separate things you have to keep in mind. This is the cornerstone, the touch point, the threshold, the rule of a thumb. Whenever it comes to your mind, whenever it comes to your mind that your next trade should be profitable and should cover the loss of your previous trade and and end of the day you want it to be profitable from the this current trade you mean that you on the wrong foot you immediately close your position turn off your pc shut down and leave and go for a walk that's the final so i just want to summarize i don't want to uh, spend too much time on it but if you if you can just uh, analyze this and understand this one single question that if the previous trade 
had an impact on on your mind for the next trade is mean that you have lost your capability to trade anymore similarly for instance uh, I just want to give a different scenario here before I wind up that so for instance the next scenario what happened is you made a loss more than expected because of slippage now you think by looking at the same ticker again, you're looking at it and you see that there is an opportunity uh, for you to trade again. Now, again, you ask the same question, whether the loss of the previous trade has an impact on you and that was a result of this trading in this ticker. If the answer is yes, I would say you, sh you should stop trading that ticker and trade something else and maybe do not trade that ticker for the next few days if you think that you is something in your mind comes in every time when you look at this trade. And it happens with me, I can give you my live example. There was a time with the NEO and I don't know what happened. I, I was trading NEO every other day because it's just popping up on a pre-market review, right? And I realized that because it keeps popping up every day, it doesn't mean that I need to trade it unless I see the strategy. And that is what happened to with me. When I lose one lose money while trading a NEO, it just keep me in the circle that I want to take a revenge. I want to return my money. And what I decided, I decided that I'm not going to trade NEO unless this thought would stop coming to my mind when I see the NEO. So to you, I'm going to close this video. But the point when I'm saying that you should always ask, whether the loss of the trade has any impact on your mind and if you just answer this question and act accordingly as explained i bet you that you will uh, never go into the vicious circle or or the revenge trade mode don't forget to give me your feedback how did you like this video and also subscribe to my channel and like the bell button. Thank you.